Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm the one they call Peachy Pie, and you are absolutely most welcome to join me here. Okie dokie, so today is going to be my final review for Pokemon Quest for now. And I'm going to play a little bit. <laughs> and um, yeah, now I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so far, I am enjoying the game. It is it is definitely like a strategy game. You have to kind of upgrade you guys all the time. Uh, you get to choose different characters. Let me show you where that is. You go to edit team and then any of the characters that have come to your little, um, your base camp because you make food, <laughs> you get to pick a different character and you do that by just like, popping this one over there and it replaces the one that's over there so I have been leveling up my characters by placing higher level stones um, see this little like this red thing um, and the blue thing see sturdy stone and mighty stone so the mighty stones are obviously power stones and the blue ones are like health stones really um, as you put on, I think, um, a more like powerful mighty stones, some of them have like a drawback to them. Like you see this one, uh, says uh, time to recover minus 10.5 seconds. So it takes longer to for that particular move to recover. Wow, this move is weak. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. <laughs> see, the attack is high, but like the move is like, well, that's super weak, so it's move. <laughs> anyway yeah so there's there's quite a bunch of things to do in this game you know um but even so i felt like the game is a little bit two-dimensional you can also place these little decorations i haven't bought any more decorations um the prolific statue was the one that i got from defeating level one of the expeditions the first one which is over here so i defeated the last boss and got that one now i must say that as you can see my level um, you know the, the level of my team is not enough to beat any of these um, two levels and that is a recurring problem in this game where my team levels are not enough to beat um, any of the levels so what I've had to do is I've had to keep playing previous levels and it's kind of repetitive you know i mean the game in and of itself is going to be repetitive because this is what you're dealing with oh yeah i changed shoot <laughs> i changed from uh eevee to ekans because i thought they'd have some cooler moves and what we're dealing with is leah and mud slap this was clearly a good idea <laughs> i should have left eevee there um i had a problem because like eevee kept dying that was annoying. I don't actually know if Mud Slap does anything. I don't know. Maybe it does. <laughs> Let's just go with it. <laughs> I think it does. I think it's an attack move. Because um, some of these um, moves, if you remember the other Pokemon games, they actually didn't do much. It was more of like a lower someone else's defense kind of thing rather than an actual kick someone's butt kind of move. <laughs> But yeah so yeah the game can get really repetitive because um, your characters often don't have the level that's high enough to beat the highest level and so you have to level them up there's also um, there's where's Ekans and why is he over there not being sexist though it could be a she but then again like male and female Pokemon look exactly the same in a lot of different cases, so it could be a they. <laughs> no disrespect, I just thought it was a funny joke. So Ekans died. Um, this is a kind of a cute feature. What happens is when the particular Pokemon dies, um, what happens is they uh, the little Pokeball pops up and they basically just hide out in the Pokeball until they come back. That's it, they died? All of my guys died? <gasps> I yeah 
uh no okay i guess so let me just use my tickets and yeah okay so that was a that was a bad move <laughs> my guys died <laughs> it's very ironic that i'm getting sturdy stones <laughs> okay um yeah, you can get lots of stuff from mostly just um, ingredients, as you can see, and like these bulky coins thing from doing like the quest. But um, you go to edit team and then you can click on training. And what happens is you put a character that you want to train. Let's, for example, put that over here. And then you put a character that's going to train with him, right? And we'll show you how much he's going to level up. However, just note that down here, it says supporting Pokemon will leave when training is over. So um, you'll lose that Pokemon. So it's not, not like, uh, it's, a, it's not a good idea to uh, put a Pokemon into training that you don't actually, um, that you actually want to keep, you know? So, yeah. Um... Yeah, and training kind of just looks like like this, you know, like when you see these characters flying there, it kind of does just look like that. So I'm not going to show you because I don't want to get rid of any of my guys during <laughs> this very second. Um, but yeah, so I, I am kind of enjoying the game, but also kind of not because of that specifically, it's kind of hard to level up. It really is to get to the level where you can beat the boss level so it takes you some time but i get it because the game area looks kind of small and if it wasn't that hard i think you could finish this game relatively easy and relatively quickly but the, to be honest with you there's not actually much else to do it's literally just go to your base camp cook some food and then go out on a pokemon quest so um i guess that this is not necessarily going to be everyone's cup of tea you might think that it's a very cute game i definitely do um you might find some other stuff to do but so far there's really nothing else <laughs> to the game it's cute it's simple it's easy for beginners to play but that really all is here's the pokedex again i really love that animation but um yeah there's 150 characters to collect and you go on expeditions to cook your pot of food like we established before and yeah it's it's actually like a good time waster because you really don't actually notice time moving on as you play this game it's only when you run out of um you know out of your battery power to go on expeditions that you're like oh dang how long have i been playing <laughs> you know it's it's a good time waster but like I said, that's really all there is to it. There's not, nothing else to do. You can tap on the screen or whatever, but there's nothing else to do. And from what I can tell, there isn't much storyline. It's really just a very cool, chill game. So I would definitely recommend it for beginners. And I would recommend it if you are trying to have a moment to just relax. And not you don't want something that's invasive or something that you have to think about too much you just want to chill and play a mindless game for like 30 minutes or so this would probably be the perfect game for that you really don't have to think strategy you just chill and let you guys do their work but anyway that's at least what i think let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day further because you absolutely deserve it cheerio Good <laughs>